I wanted to give an early report on what I think may be an advance in our treatment of autism. We have treated autism with intravenous stem cells, as other centers have for some years, and have found a very high rate of success. It doesn't completely reverse the disease, but we're talking about substantial improvement um, for a disorder where there's really very little else that has been able to do much. Um, I've reported in other um, areas of our use for, of exosomes for intracranial disorders. Um, it's interesting that, um, that stem cells have difficulty in general with disorders that affect the brain, such as Parkinson's, ALS, Alzheimer's, and stroke. Um, so we hadn't used them for that. But um, stem cells were one area that uh, have had success in an intracranial brain disorder, i.e. Um, autism, so we have used it there. However, we hypothesized sort of the obvious thing that if we're having good success with, ex with uh, stem cells for autism, that maybe exosomes added to it would improve success. So we started a clinical trial adding um, exosomes to stem cells, treating people with both. Uh, there's no charge for the uh, exosomes, and see if we notice a difference. So. Our, our goal was to compare the patients we treated from that point forward with stem cells and exosomes to the ones treated previously with only stem cells. This is something that's called using historical controls. It can be difficult to tell exactly, and it will probably take a while to get reliable differences, but um, we are um, happy to report that early on we've had a couple of patients, um, actually the first two treated with it, who had a very ro robust response. We often see with autism that there are many facets of the disease, and we have had a high rate of success with improving at least one of them. There are things called stimming or sleep problems, um, uh, verbal problems, social um, uh, issues. Um, and in many patients, we would have significant improvement um, in one, um, but not in some of the others. And th this is useful, and patients are happy with it. But obviously, the more areas that we can improve, the better. And early on, um, and again, this is preliminary, it, it is our impression that the addition of the exosomes has, to some extent, achieved that. We've gotten very robust response in a multi, uh, multitude of areas. So this is early. Uh, we were excited about it, just wanted to report on it. As time goes on and we get more and better data, I'll um, give you all an update.